Hey everybody, welcome back to the series where I give you my five top suggestions for different people on your gift list. So today we're going to be talking about skiers and snowboarders, and I've got the first item right beside me here, and that's the s beaners And you're probably thinking, what does that have to do with skiing and snowboarding? Why would I want to buy that for them? Well, really quickly, I use these guys actually quite a bit and what I do with them is it allows me to clip my lift ticket onto different jackets or maybe a different pair of pants because as the day goes on sometimes you might start with a bigger, bigger warmer jacket and then in the afternoon not need to put that big jacket on and just wear a liner jacket. So this allows you to really easily swap lift tickets between different pieces of clothes. So super easy, throw it in their stocking and they're going to love it. Okay, number two, let's head over here. Okay, cool base layer. So base layer, also known as long underwear, comes from many different brands and we've got a bunch of them here. But the one that I wanted to talk about is cool. And I tried this out last year because it was new and it actually really surprised me. It's an excellent base layer. Now it's a synthetic based as opposed to merino wool, which a lot of the other ones are. Um, but that means that it keeps the price down a little bit more in line. And what you've got in these is we've got flat lock stitching and we've also got some mesh panels and it's really body mapped. So it's gonna give you the breathability where you want it, but it's also gonna keep you warm where you want it. So it's available in both tops and bottoms for men and for women. So number three, let's go over here. Okay, ski socks. So I've got a smart wool ski sock here and this is my personal favorite. And ski socks, if you're not familiar with why they're different from regular socks, well first off they're a lot longer. So you don't want your sock stopping halfway down in the boot. So these are going to go up nice and high outside of the boot. And they're also made out of, in this case, a merino wool. So it's absolutely the best material for socks. It's going to wick moisture really well, but it's also going to keep them nice and toasty warm. So that's an easy one. Even if they've got a pair, they can probably use a second. Okay, and we're going to head right over here for our next one. So this is a buff. You've probably seen a buff. You might even own some buffs. They come in all sorts of different styles and patterns in that. This one's a polar buff. So what that means is it's got a fleece layer as well as that sort of standard buff layer that you, you're probably familiar with. So we're gonna get a little bit of style out of it, but we're also gonna get a lot of warmth out of it. So again, sort of like the Smartwool socks, even if they've got one, they can probably use a second one, especially because there's so many patterns to choose from. Okay, and for the last one, we're just gonna head back here. Okay, as you can see behind me, we've got lots and lots of gloves to choose from, but my pick for skiers and snowboarders is actually this one from OR. So this is called the High Camp, and it comes in both a mitt and a glove form. And why I like it is because it's a two-piece. So we've got an outer shell, which is totally waterproof, and then we've got a removable liner on the inside. So you can see that there. So what this allows you to do is dry it out a lot easier. So even though it's waterproof, your hands are gonna perspire. So at the end of the day, or even part way through the day, if you need to, you can pull that liner out and dry it out a lot easier. What it also allows you to do is fine tune the liner. So maybe you want a glove liner with fingers inside a mitt outer, so it allows you to do that. So it's really versatile and it's something that I use myself. So there you've got it, my five picks for skiers and snowboarders on your list this year. If you like these videos we've been doing, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. What should I do with my hand? <laughs> You're good. Let's record. <laughs> That'll be a blooper.